Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel and thanks for watching. Today I am sharing with you my Sephora spring sale picks. Now, we talk about the sale every year, but I always have to start out with a reminder of a couple things. It is a tiered sale. So you are going to be able to shop the sale and a percentage based on what your tier is within the company. You can find that by logging into the website or on your app. I am a Rouge member, so I can start shopping first and I do get the biggest discount, but regardless of what your discount or day is, there is one discount code that you use. It is not automatically applied to the products at checkout. You do have to go apply the promo code on your own, but I will put the dates up on screen along with the promo code. So just make sure you know those details because there have been times in the past when I shopped the sale and completely forgot to put the promo code in and it is so frustrating, but I'm going to share my top 17 favorites with you guys. So let's go ahead and get started. Make sure to click the subscribe button if you love these kind of videos. And I have to start out with like number one, absolute must have. You guys have heard me talk about it for years and years at this point. It's probably like, okay, we get it. It's the Charlotte Tilbury lip liner. So this product is one of my favorite. I call it Old Faithful. It is the lip liner that essentially I use with every lip product that I find because I don't think it really bleeds into the product and changes it to fit the lip liner, if that makes sense. Like I find that sometimes lip liners like ColourPop for instance, or even my Kylie lip kit, like the color of the liner will kind of bleed in and alter the lip color itself where this thing is staying put for a very long period of time, but it's not changing the color. So sometimes I can go a little bit brighter and lighter. Sometimes I can go a little bit deeper in the fall time. Regardless, the color pillow talk is my all time favorite. I have these everywhere, my car, my makeup drawer, my bags, it, it, so many of these I own. It's absolutely insane. So I will be restocking on a few of these during the sale. This is something I actually keep in my car. I always, for some reason, get in the car and I'm like, wow, my lips are really dry. And I don't know why, but I absolutely love this flavor the most. It is the Lip Butter Balm in Vanilla. I'm not usually a vanilla girl. This one is the best though. It is very light and fresh. It's not heavy. I find that vanilla can be very heavy, but regardless, this is a super hydrating lip product. The tiniest amount goes a long way. So this little bottle that is 0.5 ounces or 15 grams, honestly is going to last you so long. It is a vegan formula. You can apply it under or over your lip product. It will break it up a little bit just simply because it is a hydrating product. But regardless, the summer Fridays lip balms are the best. Product number three, is a little bit of a new obsession and it's not really what I'm gonna tell you to use it for. So this is the Cream Contour and Powder Bronzer Duo. The color is She's Statuesque. It is gorgeous. By the way, I'm wearing a personal mic and if you guys hear my stomach growling, it's because I'm trying to get back into intermittent fasting. So please do ignore that. But back to the product, Patrick Ta. Oh my gosh, this is so good. However, if you guys follow Emily Kaiser, she's really on TikTok. Um, I think she is on a couple other platforms, but I feel like the bulk of her best content is on TikTok. I saw her using this one day and she was using it to like apply all over her face. And I was like, what is that? And I went online and I was like, it's a contour. It came in and I wanted to try it the way she did and I absolutely love it. So this cream product, you actually can apply with a beauty blender. And yes, you could use it as a contour, but it is absolutely stunning. It's lightweight on your face and how it feels. I feel like it still has a relatively lightweight look, but for someone who has more red toned skin, I have like red undertones. Wow. This actually has great coverage, especially to still be lightweight. I do use the bronzer from time to time. It's not what I use today. That actually is another product I'll talk about, but very impressed with the way this looks and feels. I feel like it's very flawless on the skin. So yeah, um, supposed to be a contour product, but I saw Emily Kaiser use it and I was like, yes, I, I want that. And I'm obsessed with using it now. Oh, you guys, I'm sorry. I, I can't get out of using the word I'm obsessed, but I, I need to get better. I know, I know everyone uses that word, but it really is truly like an obsession. I, I will talk about it with anybody. This is one of y'all's finds. One of y'all told me to get this. This is the Necessaire Body Serum. It is fragrance free, and this is a hyaluronic acid hydrating treatment for your body. So we know how much we love hyaluronic acid for our face. You do have to use a moisturizer after your hyaluronic acid in order to really lock that hydration in. This is the same but it's for your body. I specifically struggle with dry arms and I do have a little bit of eczema. Um, mine, as I've gotten older, has gotten a little bit milder. So please take that with a grain of salt if you're thinking about using this for eczema, but this does work at kicking it fast. 
last because I put this on just like any other hyaluronic acid and then I apply my lotion after. The softest skin I have ever had in my life started when I started using this product. So I was actually sent one of these in PR. It didn't, the color wasn't like for me. It was very red, wasn't my fave, but I loved the actual product so much. I needed it in the correct color. So I got the Forget the Filler Lip Plumping Line Smoothing Gloss. It actually does make your lips look so smooth on top of feeling smooth. And I got it in the color Rosy Outlook. So this one is, I believe it's more like clear. It might be a little bit pink now just cause I tend to use this with pinker lip products. But again, they sent me like a red one and I loved the actual product itself, just not the color. So I immediately added this to cart. I have been obsessed with it. I keep one in my car and one in my makeup drawer so I can apply it whenever I'm getting ready in the morning. It is so good. Lawless lip products are really top tier. This is the bronzer that I have used for years. And if you go back, I believe I was even watching a Sephora sale video the other day. It was my video the year I got pregnant with Ezra. So was like 2021. And I talked about this NARS bronzer. It is an OG favorite. I wear the color Laguna 2. This product is so smooth. It is a gorgeous color. It doesn't come off muddy, but it just is the right amount of, of just bronze for me. They do have a couple different colors, but I love this product. It is the NARS, what's the full name of it? Laguna Bronzing Powder. Of course, I will have it linked below. I believe I did originally talk about just like the color Laguna in that video in 2021, but this is two. I prefer two just because we are moving towards the time of year where I self tan a little bit more. So, oh my gosh, like an OG old school best of the best bronzer that I am going to buy over and over and over again. This is another product that I've talked about recently. It's the Givenchy, you know what? Not even gonna try and say that because I will butcher it, but it's the color one. This is a color correcting powder. So you're going to get the powder color based on what your undertones to your skin are. So I have very red undertones. It does have a guide on there that tells you, but I got number one. So the colors in this one are green, blue, purple, and then like a little bit of a light pink. If you go on the Sephora website, it actually even tells you what each of those colors are and how they kind of neutralize your face. But again, as someone who has got red undertones, I need all of the color correcting products that I can get. This makes everything neutral. We're not too pink, we're not too yellow, we're not too red. It is hands down one of my new favorite powders. I do love the Laura Mercier powder, but that one is not color correcting. This is like if you need a color correcting powder, it's this one. I'm still not entirely sure if it's Huda or Huda Beauty. I actually hear it say both ways all the time. For the sake of today's video, we're gonna say Huda Beauty. Yeah, Huda Beauty, no. We're gonna say how to beauty. That's what we're gonna just say. For sake of today's video, I got the color pink pomelo. Again, this is one, if you go on there, it's going to tell you what color to get based on the undertones of your skin. And I've actually heard before that if you're concerned about, like you don't know what the undertones of your skin are, put your hand into a little fist and then actually look at the color of your knuckles and that will tell you what your undertone color is. But I learned that from a makeup artist. However, I know what my undertone is. So I got this again in the color pink pomelo. You put Put this on your under eye, the tiniest amount, any dark circles you have, gone completely. I don't think this is great necessarily for redness, but as someone with two under two, the dark circles, they are there. And this has been an absolute game changer. Um, you do have to put concealer on top of it though. So that is a little bit more of a full coverage look. If you're looking for something day to day, and you don't want full coverage, maybe skip on that. But for someone who has darker circles now, it's definitely a must have for me. Y'all knew it would be impossible for me to make a Sephora video without talking about living proof. Now I do wash my hair more now. I find that it's growing and so much healthier now that I wash my hair a lot more, but I do still have oily hair. Um, and I like to use dry shampoo just because it really kind of adds a little bit of texture. So there are a ton of living proof products. I just absolutely adore. I don't think you can go wrong with any of them, but hands down, number one, if you're only gonna buy one living proof product, it's the advanced clean dry shampoo. This actually softens and shines your hair, but I do still feel like it gives it some texture. So it's not gonna be that like gritty, 
crunchy feel that some dry shampoos can give, but man, this one is so good. This is the 9.9 .9 ounce bottle, but I feel like a little bit also goes a long way. So if you aren't sure if Living Proof is for you or the price is a little bit too high, you can definitely start with a smaller bottle. It's gonna last you for so long. Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation was my wedding day foundation. And at the time when I did my wedding makeup, I knew a good amount, but I don't know, like I didn't know then what I know now. And if I was to do my makeup today for my wedding, I would use this. This is the best of the best of the best foundation. Do not try and dupe this if you're gonna do your own makeup. Do not try and dupe this if you have some kind of special event you're going to. This is the best foundation on the market. And my mom, actually, I mention this every time I talk about it. I've talked about it in every Sephora video. She put her makeup on. I actually did her makeup too. We did her makeup, I wanna say it was about 10 a.m. And she ended up, like went out so late after the wedding and just got up the next morning and went to breakfast that she did the bad thing. She slept in her makeup. And she said when she walked downstairs, everyone was like, why do you look flawless? Why does your skin look so good? Why does your makeup still look amazing? She was like, it's that Estee Lauder. She had had it on for approaching 24 hours and her skin looked gorgeous. And my mom was like 50, I think at the time, she might've been like 49. So whether you have younger skin or older skin, although that's not old, you understand what I mean? This is the best. I have this in like four different colors. There is nothing out there that is as good as this. If you want the creme de la creme, it's Estee Lauder Double Wear. Day hair cream is an essential and there's for so many reasons, honestly. So this is the Cactus Fruit 3-in-1 Styling Cream. It says it smooth styles, preps, blowouts, and defines curls. A lot of people use these for those really slick back ponytails because it keeps your hair all in its place without making it look or feel super gross. However, as a girl who's going through postpartum regrowth, this is an essential for getting all of those little tusky regrowth hairs to stay down. I see so many people talking about this on TikTok. It is a must have if you just have all of those little hairs that stick up. But if you wanna use it as a styling cream, it's great for that too. NARS lipsticks you really can't go wrong with. Apart from my one complaint is that I feel like the color in this tube does not look the same as it does on your lips. And also this right here is like the same color pink on all of these tubes. So that is the one thing is I'm like, I don't know what color payout I'm really gonna be getting. However, this is number 200. It's what I'm wearing today. And it is absolutely gorgeous. Um, now NARS has sent me some of these in PR before and I actually love them so much I bought my own colors. And I was telling my sister-in-law yesterday, I was like, oh, I have a couple other colors to give you. They've sent me some that just don't look right with my skin tone. She literally pulled it out of her pocket and she was like, I am wearing one today. These are the best formula. They're so hydrating because she loves makeup too. And I was like, I know I love them. So me and my sister-in-law are both completely obsessed with these products. But yeah, that's just the one thing is like, when you open this, you're gonna be like, oh, that may not look right. It looks completely different on your lips, so just something to keep in mind. And then anything that's from T3, y'all know I am such a fan. Again, 2021 video, we're talking about T3. This is actually the newer curling iron that they have launched. It is an extra long barrel. I believe it's either an inch or an inch and a half longer, but this is essential if you have long hair. Like, I actually, I mean, I'd say this is shorter hair for me. I did get a big pretty decent trim recently. And my hair takes up the entire curling iron. So it's just a lot nicer because it goes faster. You're not having to do as much twisting with your hair. So regardless of what you get from T3, you're gonna love it, okay? There's just nothing I can say that's bad about this brand. And then a couple products that I just wanted to mention that I have purchased um, from the sale that haven't obviously come in. There are two Drunk Elephant products. I'll put them up on the screen. I actually, so I said Emily Kaiser, Avery Woods. I also follow her and she has the most gorgeous skin. She likes a really lightweight bronzy look and I have seen her using these two Drunk Elephant products over and over and over again. So I actually bought them based on her recommendation. Actually, everything I'm about to share, I bought on her recommendation, but those two Drunk Elephant products immediate were an add to cart. I need them, I want them. I know that Drunk Elephant products are so good, so I can't wait to try them out. She also mentioned the Kosas sunscreen, I think is how you say it. Um, personally, I've been loving the CeraVe AM sunscreen because it's like a sunscreen and a moisturizer, but she has spoken so highly of the Kosas so many times and I've seen her just use it over and over and over again that I wanted to give it a shot because y'all know I am a sunscreen girly 
and it actually looks like it may have a little bit of color to it. So I'm hoping that that will work for a lighter weight coverage during the summertime. The Benefit Brow Gel, I actually have used before, so I bought it again. I love my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Gel. I think it is so good at keeping your brows in place, but I don't love the applicator itself. I feel like the tub of the product gets a little bit hard when you start to get less and less in there. And like you have to buy a spoolie. It's just, the if it didn't come in a tub, I would be even more for it, but that's the only reason why I decided to try out the brow gel like again, now that my brows are back to their original fullness rather than being plucked to death. Um, I wanted to see if it keeps my brows up kind of the same way, but it is a better applicator because it's like more, it's not a doe foot, but it's more of like a brush. So it's not like a tub like the ABH. And then finally, House Labs, which is a Lady Gaga brand. I'm not sure if she like fully owns it, but it has her name in the actual product title of like every single one of them. This is a highlighter, again, something I saw Avery Woods use. And so I was like, let me get that because she always puts it in her inner corner. Um, she uses it for just, again, that really gorgeous glowy makeup. And now that I am on Tretinoin and I'm starting to see the other side of using it. My skin's not as torn up anymore. I am able to wear a lot less um, makeup for like overall just my, my texture and all those kind of things. So I'm kind of looking for those like lighter weight products to give me glow. And so I'm really excited to get this one in. And that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it again. 17 of my top favorites, but honestly, there's so many things I could talk about on the Sephora sale. Just make sure you put that promo code in. Thank y'all so much for watching. Love you so much. Click the subscribe button if you are new here and I will see you guys in my next video. Mwah.